Biden, we have new wars everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. We're dropping bombs in Yemen, we're dropping bombs in Syria. You know, we're giving $100 billion just this last time to Ukraine versus Russia. We have Israel Hamas. So does, does the actual concrete data that shows that Trump was a peacemaker and kept stability abroad, is that persuasive to you? Yes, sir. We're back again, guys. Another Charlie Cake view. Sorry, dude, you're wrong. <laughs> I wonder what the argument was. Let's check it out, guys. Firstly, as a liberal, I would like to say I'm shaking right now. As a what? Me with respect, because I do not want to end up on a highlight reel. And I also am intimidated, as I think you are very beautiful. It is my belief, correct me if I'm wrong, that you are not completely against immigration, as long as the people coming here share the values present in this country. That being said, don't you believe we have a duty to take in Muslim refugees who oftentimes have different values than ours, as we have directly or indirectly destabilized dozens of Muslim countries from Iraq and Iran by invading them and pushing our values down their throats, democracy, which has proven to be a failure in other countries? Uh, no, we don't have an obligation to take them in. Thank you. Okay. But, but hold on, I want to just try to drill in on something. That, that bothers you and it should, which is our reckless foreign policy agenda. So then would you entertain voting for Trump who started no new wars for four years of his presidency? But he continued like the Afghanistan war. No, he tried to end it. He did everything he could to actually troops were getting out. You know how many troops died under Sorry. Donald Trump's last 18 months? Zero American service members were killed over the last 18 months. And under Joe Biden, the withdrawal was reckless and terrible and you saw what happened. That's true, but he didn't end the war. He tried to. Well, well, fair enough. But the way that Biden ended, I don't think, is something we should ever praise, right? It's like saying you got to get an appendix removed, and you take out a pocket knife, and you just start like... I mean, it was one of the most catastrophic, humiliating withdrawals and moments in American history. But okay. So I, I will just... I, I'm, I'm curious, though, because with Biden, we have new wars everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. We're dropping bombs in Yemen. We're dropping bombs in Syria. You know, we're giving $100 billion just this last time to Ukraine versus Russia. We have Israel Hamas. So does... Does the actual concrete data that shows that Trump was a peacemaker and kept stability abroad, is that persuasive to you? With Ukraine, I feel like the Ukraine war is justified. I feel like war is not always justified, and I think you agree with that, because I think you support what Israel is doing in Gaza right now. But I feel like the world is going down, and American influence is leaving, and we have a right, and we must uh, aid Ukraine. Okay, yeah, I mean, okay. I disagree with that. Um, it took a lot of courage for you to get up to this mic. I appreciate it. We have clarity, but not agreement. I hope you vote for Trump. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you vote for Trump. <laughs> hey guys, let me know what you guys think about the video. The comment section, more recommendations. So I'll see you guys on the next one.